guys welcome 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 back to my channel i appreciate you guys who have been keeping up watching and um i just cannot say thank you enough so today is august 7th and um yesterday august 6th was jamaica's independence day 58th independence we celebrated so today i'm in yellow at work it was um on a usual day where I work, we do not get a casual day. However, we were allowed to dress down a little bit today. So I wore just a simple yellow top and then black jeans. Yeah. And um, so, which is why I'm also bright. Anyway, um, I just thought I'd say that. Um, it's been, what, two weeks since I've spoken to you all. And I figured that I wanted to speak just a little bit about my eating habits now, how they have changed, what I eat, what I cannot eat. Um, of course, you see some clips of, I kind of have to now be taking small trips down to the market here in Montilby. And basically what I'm talking about, like, we would say, you know, like where you get your ground provisions and stuff, your fruits and veggies. Um, and if you're honest, for quite a while, I really wasn't going down there because I don't really purchase a lot of stuff, so the bits that I need to get, I'll just get them in town. But I figured, you know what, one, it will be cheaper for me going down to the market to get my stuff um, if I'm going to buy them in bulk versus getting them in town. And two, there's a wide variety to choose from. And I think sometimes when you get it from the, um, um well, not directly from the farmers, because I know that I'm strictly not getting it directly from the farmers most time, but it's cheaper than when it, when the fourth person selling it, I still get it cheaper. So, yes, I'm sure you see the clip here. Somewhere here, or before I'll insert it to show you my little trip down to the market, or one of my trips that I choose. Hi, guys. Good morning. <laughs> Okay, so this is about 8.30 here in Jamaica. Yes, yeah, still look like I'm sleeping. Anyway, we are, my son and I, is somewhere over there. <laughs> we are heading to the market. Um, for me, it's kind of, as I said, difficult finding stuff to eat or things I can manage properly that are healthy. And I figure I'll be going down to the, it's a Charles Garden Market to see what kind of um, ground provisions I can get so I will try to show you some footage of what's happening down there I know it's gonna be crazy busy and hopefully not too crowded but great is we are taking our precautions anyway um, but this is where Ali let me give you a view uh, yeah so we are basically going down a hill interesting <laughs> and i do this almost every day so i'll see you when we get to the market okay bye for now <laughs> Thank you, Willis. Fennel, bird pepper, green butter. too long. Stay too Alright, so I'm trying to get some ginger. I love ginger tea in the morning without sugar. 
So this is yesterday going in Jamaica. Needle and trade a hundred cheap a hundred. And one pound, a pound. So I'm going to get ginger here and I'm going to get pumpkin. The pumpkin looks like it's good. I'm going to look at them because I know it's a bit about pumpkin. It's soft and it is soup. One pound. So, um, I need um, a pumpkin. I need three. What I need is a very dry pumpkin. But look at that one. How much? This is three. Yeah. Look on it, okay. Size of that one. Alright, so when I buy pumpkin, as my uncle taught me, because he grows pumpkin here, we have a pumpkin. And depending on how it's cut, it looks dry. So, this is our local pumpkin, and I'm going to buy this. Um, I don't know if you want to say something Mr. for the Donald. camera. Yeah, Mr. Donaldson. So, this is Mr. Donaldson. Today I'm getting ginger and pumpkin from it. I'm Mr. Farmer Donald's Brown, right? Okay. All right. Pineapple and ginger and everything, right? Okay. So that's what I'm doing right now. Okay. So you can have a one. Okay. All right. So without further ado, let me just give you a small rundown of some of the foods that I am now eating. Um, of course, I remember saying to you guys that I am eating a lot of soft foods. But what I am noticing and thank the Lord for is that as I go along with this process, you know, for example, after my first adjustment the other day, for a few days I was not able to do, you know, foods or bite into anything and then it gets better as was told to me and it is indeed true so for me now i know there are lots of videos on youtube that you know they give you a list of stuff that you can eat but for me i have to basically tailor it as to where i live and what i can afford to buy and uh, what i like what i'm used to and one of our some of the items that i am used to yams and you know dashings and all of that so what i find is that i can eat soft yams so you know you have yellow yam in jamaica we call it yellow yam other parts of the world they would have other names for it i guess you have yellow yam sweet potato white yam badu yes for me i have not had yellow yam i think it's still a little bit too hard i don't know maybe not but i still have not had yellow yam but i bought soft white yam and sweet potatoes yes you know in jamaica we call them yellow belly 
yeah you know those potatoes are like really really yellow some of them are even more like orange inside perfect when they're cooked they're soft enough i can eat it just like how i would eat um mashed potato i can mash it or even chew it i can actually chew it with the back of my um my teeth here i can so i find that i do a lot of sweet potatoes you know what i tried the other day i bought um i bought at the market i bought we call it bado something we, i don't know i don't know the correct name for it but i remember my grandma called it bado and when i went to the the vendor and i said hey how much are the bado and he was he, there was another name he said i don't remember it but i tried that you know what i ate it i was actually able to chew into that and it is a little harder than the soft white yam but i had that so now i'm just telling you what i eat here in jamaica i know maybe a lot of persons don't but i kind of like this stuff of course rice is there but the truth for me is even though rice is small and it is soft i don't i don't enjoy eating rice because it travels let me tell you see these now imagine the small rice grain let me tell you when you put a fork full of rice in your mouth immediately i cannot control it here or to keep it here no you put it in it goes all over so in as much as though it is soft i don't enjoy eating it because it really travels and it goes inside the brackets and it is quite uncomfortable so i do eat a little rice but i must say that i try not to eat it to be very honest i really stick to the irish potato the soft yams if i have it to eat um pasta or macaroni as we in jamaica i say eat macaroni and cheese but i don't do a lot of cheese um but i do um pasta sometimes because i do like um penny pasta um so if i have what to prepare it with and for me i kind of like doing a tuna salad with it. so i do tuna and i like mixing it with green peas that's me i like mixing it with green peas i use a lot of cayenne pepper um a lot of paprika and so that's what i like and i tend to put my cayenne pepper and paprika in my mayonnaise because i don't do a lot of mayonnaise if i'm going to eat mayonnaise i have to put a lot of cayenne pepper in it um and then of course i spoke about it already yogurt and ice cream but you know what this is the thing with yogurt and ice cream it costs <laughs> it costs I like um really nice ice cream and to be very honest if you're going to eat like say hmm let's say Hagen does I, 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 it's not in my budget at this time to be buying one of that every week no and we have our own brands here in Jamaica um, that you can buy some of them are pretty good but I tend not to eat a lot of ice cream I will buy maybe three to four yogurts for the week and that's it um and it's not every week either so i don't do a lot of yogurt and ice cream but those are pretty good you see the cold of the yogurt and the ice cream it really soothes and i think the braces are like heat something they react to heat so for some reason when you eat the yogurt and the ice cream even if there's any discomfort or pain i find that it actually soothes it especially especially the ice cream it really does um soups i like pumpkin soup i've always loved red pea soup in jamaica it's about red pea soup or a gungo soup me love that i love that but i haven't had any of those i don't think i want to eat the pea soup to be honest because i can just imagine all of the peas all up in here so i stick to pumpkin soup or chicken pumpkin soup and let me tell you to die for because i don't eat a lot of the dumplings but i put my irish potato in if i have chochos when the carrot cooks salt it's soft so it's really nice to eat the pumpkin i even put um the other day i don't usually but the other day i find myself just putting stuff in that could make it more filling for me and i did put green bananas in some people do put green bananas in pumpkin it's not something i really do but i did it the other day and it was okay it was fine um and of course and you know you realize i'm not going in any order i'm just telling you off the top of my head things that i eat um fruits i have not done a lot of experiments with fruits the ones i have eaten 
pineapples and even the pineapples I don't know but I find that there's like string I'll chew the pineapples it's nice it's soft but sometimes a little bit stringy but it's not string that I that makes me like gag or anything no so I do eat pineapples I um melon yes I do eat melon ripe bananas yes I do ripe bananas also I haven't tried anything else I think I tried oh actually today for lunch I had a little bit of grape some grapes and papaya and the pineapples so far those are the only fruits I've had really um, so I couldn't speak and I think did I eat nesberries no not yet but I'm thinking this bear would be good because it's soft right and so in terms of meat fish I like fish I can do fish soft fried fish mean that the fish is not fried to a crisp because I can't chew that or steamed and of course chicken fried chicken is a no for me um, maybe and most times fried chickens are fried crisp or you know if your recipe is where it is not too tough maybe I'll try it, but I really don't do fried I prefer to bake chicken um, and let's see what else hmm. pancakes are breakfast now is I do watch my my, my weed. can you hear that rain beautiful rain oh my god it is just so hot the rain has started yay and yes and we have just gone off trail but you know what i'm so happy when the rain is falling especially when it's late even like now because i know that the night is going to be cool thank god it's raining yes um i tend to watch my weight i do watch my weight um i try not to go over what i should be based on my height i'm five six so I try not to go over that. And what that means is that I really try to keep away from a lot of white food. So white flour, um, white rice. I try not to eat bread. But I do. If there's nothing else to eat, if there's nothing else to eat and there's bread, I'm going to eat it. So yes, but I do try to keep away from too much bread. Because I find that if I eat bread, say, four or five times per week, I am going to put some weight on. I don't know what it is with bread and me but we are not friendly bread puts weight on me so i try not to do a lot of breads and stuff um and i try not you know i like fried fried dumplings i can i think i can do a good fried good fried dumplings and festivals i have done it i have done festivals with my braces and i was able to eat it so you know those really work for me and i find for the past two weeks i have been steaming cabbage what I do is, for me, simple. I don't put, like, say, salt fish in because I can't do salt fish. Salt fish will stick in my teeth, so I try not to do the salt fish. But what I do is I steam my cabbage, and I do julienne my cabbage, my carrots, um, sweet peppers, my scotch bonnet peppers, um, just to flavor it. I know how to do it and just do a quick steam. I do that, and I take it to work for a breakfast some days. And I don't eat it with bread either. I actually eat them with in Jamaica we have national a big brand in Jamaica here is national and um, I eat my steamed bread with crackers the soft crackers not the tough one they're soft crackers that I can actually buy and I think for me that's a breakfast I've discovered that I can eat and eat properly and talking about breakfast for a few mornings I've had oatmeal in Jamaica, I said oats, but you know, oatmeal. Um, and a little thing about my oatmeal in my oatmeal, I like to have it with my nutmegs, vanilla, and of course, cinnamon. I love cinnamon powder in my oatmeal, that works for me too. And of course, I eat that with crackers. What else? I think that rounds it up a bit for what I basically eat nowadays. Now and again, I can buy pancakes. Some of these items that I'm telling about, I'll be very honest. Girl, I'm on a budget. Man, I'm on a budget. I work on a budget. I live with my son. I'm the main breadwinner in my little two family. And so you find where a lot of the stuff that I would like to do. For example, I want to be able to do smoothies. Because I like, um, like it's summer now. So I really, really love to do like, few years back, I remember I, I, I did a lot of melon. 
I like doing melons, um, when melon with ginger. And when I say ginger, I'm talking about either the grated ginger or the real ginger juice, right? And I'll do that with, um, we have a company here in Jamaica, CPJ. CPJ sells a real lovely strawberry daiquiri like thing in a jug. I do that, so it's a melon, the ginger, the strawberry daiquiri, ice. You don't need anything else, maybe a little bit of lime juice. The ice is important to get that smoothie effect perfect. But the thing is with me with smoothies that to do a good smoothie, it costs. And I find that some of these items is not really within my budget. So when I can just eat my fruits, I'll eat my fruits. I think later on I'll be able to do more. But for now, girl has to stay in her budget. That is what I do in order to survive. I also was saying about my weight. I really do try to keep my weight steady. Um, I try not to get overweight. Sometimes it happens, but if I find it happening, I'll adjust my eating habits. Um, and I do, I think a month or two ago, I was underweight by, say, about two or three pounds. I'm not back at my ideal weight. Um, but of course, I want to suggest, I just think I would tell persons, especially if you're having issues with your weight. For me, what I've discovered is that a lot of exercise is good. If you're like me, however, if you're like me, I am not good at exercising on my own. I do have my jump rope. I, I'll skip sometimes, but to do real exercise is very difficult for me. So what I do to manage my weight is my food. And they do say that the major part of your weight is actually the food, not exercise. So you have to maintain or watch what it is you're eating because a lot of um, foods, high carbs foods and stuff really does pack those weights on it's hard to come off just doing exercises alone so you just you know monitor what you do with what you eat um, I think I've given you an idea of what I eat I hope you enjoy the video of the Charles that, that is actually called a Charles Gordon Market here in Montego Bay Jamaica down one if it's Fustic Road or something like that that they call it um, but for those who are considered in braces, yes, when you do adjust, adjust your adjustment, I've only had one so far. It does cause um, some discomfort. As I was saying in my previous video, though, my wires, I got a slightly thicker wire now. And I realized that the pressure that I was feeling, I want to say that it went away after about three days. I think it was about three days that the pressure went away and I was back to normal where I can eat certain foods. Of course, just be frank here. There are certain foods that I suspect that during my duration of my treatment, I'm just not going to mess with. Anything that I think that will break my bracket, sir, so if they're too hard, I try not to bite. Let me tell you something about biting. Be careful. Be careful. I bought, you know, if you're in England, you all know digestive biscuits. There's this, I don't remember the brand, but small packets of digestive biscuits have three biscuits in it i love digestive biscuits right and i bought them opened one and i broke it up and i don't know i was i don't know maybe i lost track of what i was doing but i took a piece out not one not a whole one a piece out and i did this oh my god i see the moon the stars and everything it hurts well, that was immediately like a day or two after doing my adjustments. So when you do those adjustments, it's extremely tender. I don't bite on these. I really don't. Because for some reason, they just hurt sometimes. And I think it's whatever is happening inside. And for, when I wake in the morning, so I don't know what's happening when I'm sleeping, but there's this pressure in my mouth when I'm wake in the morning. And maybe by saying 9, 10, it's gone. You know, sometimes, you know what? I don't know if this is going to make any sense. However, some days my bite is off. And I find where when I do this, sometimes it will not go down. And it's as if my top row has shifted to the left like this. They're shifting. And then... I don't know, maybe the bottom row pulls back and so a few days it will get better. 
I remember I was at work one day last week and I was saying it to my co-worker that I can't fight. So I, I literally could not close like this. I had the mask on, so of course it was visible to a lot of people, but it was so uncomfortable for me for the day. And I didn't eat that day. It was that uncomfortable. But eating is interesting. Um, there are foods that, because um, I did get that inquiry from one of my friends the other day. Is there anything that you're not eating that you miss? I don't think I was ever a big foodie. I'm not a foodie. Um, but I think I kind of like, some fried foods, fried chicken. I don't think I can really enjoy chicken that much. And I'll tell you just a little bit. I was in Kingston a few days. Today's Friday, so I was in Kingston on Wednesday. From Tuesday, but Wednesday. And I took my son to get something to eat. We actually went to KFC and I bought chicken. And I'm, I'm going to be very honest. I don't know what I ate. I couldn't taste it. I was so hungry, but I couldn't taste it. I had to like be breaking off little pieces, put it around here, and try to just get some of it done. It was kind of a waste of my money because I really couldn't eat it. It was too crisp. I couldn't eat it. So there's some foods I love. I think if I was to identify one thing that I miss that I know I cannot eat, can you guess? It's a fruit. In Jamaica, we call it sweet soft. Oh my God. They say, I'm a lover. I love, I really, really love sweet soft. Love, love sweet soft. And every day when I'm walking through the town and I look like this and I see them selling it, there's like my heart breaks because it makes no sense. Sweet soft has lots of little seeds and I usually use their front teeth to take it off. I can't. I got some guineps from my cousin the other day. He brought some guineps from me. Makes no sense. I can't use my front teeth to take it off. The, the, the meat off of it or the food off of it. So those are the things that I really do miss. I love like Jamaican drops and stuff. I can't. So it's like I really stay away from anything that is too hard. Even if, if it is a biscuit, I stay away. Yes. So I hope you learned something today about the type of foods that you can eat i think some persons have watched their videos and they say after where they eat everything i'm not there yet and i suspect i will get there eventually um but for now this is where i'm at and i think my list of things that i'm eating is pretty okay because i mean i'm eating some steamed veg now which is very good you know and I can eat my ground food. You know, you're Jamaican, so you have to eat a ground food. Yeah, I eat my ground food. And yeah, green banana. I, I really can eat green banana. Um, so hopefully, you all learn a little bit of. Don't be scared of getting a braces because I don't think you can eat. There's lots out there that you can eat. Prepare your foods differently to make it um, easier for you to eat. I find myself cutting. Uh, yes, I'm really cutting stuff. Even it doesn't matter what I cut because I cannot just add biting. So I do a lot of cutting with my foods. Um, but I really think I've given you the major stuff that I eat. There's not much. Even if I leave something out, it couldn't be a maybe more than two so I don't remember right now. Um, yeah, and that's it. <laughs> I really do enjoy speaking to you guys. Oh, my video is like over 20 minutes. Wow, I was really talking a lot, wasn't I? Um, but just to tell you that um, don't be afraid to do it. Um, what do I want to say to you again? I want to insert a little clip here at the end of my video. You know, as I was saying, I was in Kingston. And when I was coming down on the bus, I took a bus. We have the Nostra here in Jamaica. I took a bus. And I was taking these small little video clips of just how beautiful Jamaica is. And I'm really speaking about lands. I'm, I'm kind of a weirdo with those stuff. I like seeing greenery. I like seeing the hills, the mountains, the green. It, for me, it calms my spirit. And when I was coming down, I really took some clips. So I'll show you a little bit of the beauty of Jamaica. For those of you who are abroad, I know you're missing it, and I just want to show you some of it. Um, and hope you enjoy it, and hope it calms you as much as it does to me. Again, I want to say 
thank you to my subscribers and I think I'm now at 60 and let me tell you guys I started out with three the first video I placed I put out here I had three subscribers and I'm now at 60 can you imagine how grateful I am so I want to say a big thank you to all of you and continue to share it I hope you can find stuff here that you find interesting and um, can for those who are thinking about it but you're not sure I can tell you that it's not a bad decision so far for me it's not bad um, and just a little bit here as to what is coming on my channel I'll be having some small discussions that I hope you'll join me or some topics that I think can be interesting I'll give you a few one of them I really want to speak about domestic violence in regards to men being abused hmm, interested in it yes we have been talking a lot about women we know women are abused you know children are being abused and the fact is that i think sometimes as a society and i'm referring to jamaica and of course generally the world we tend to forget our men and we think that men some persons think that men cannot be abused and you know it is something that happens so i am going to speak about it in one of my videos just to see what's going on out there if there's anybody out there you will be kept private um your information that you sent in will be private if you know of any situation or if you're being abused as a man um let me know how you feel is there any help that you think you can get do you think that there's enough being done or more needs to be done let me know that's the first topic i think i'm going to do um or i want to do if it is not then i'll tell you the other one that i'll do but for now that is on my heart and i think i want to speak on it a little bit it's just going to be me talking talking to you what do you know about it we all have brothers we all have uncles fathers we have friends as men who might be going through stuff and they're afraid to talk about it because they might think that society you know doesn't want them to so that is to come doing a little bit more research first though again let me just cut my video here so I'll, I'll end it right here because i think sometimes i can just go on and on thank you thank you thank you for you my subscribers i'm going to ask you again please share my video subscribe if you enjoy or you want to get more um, or know more about the braces journey and put your notifications on so you can know when i send another one out thank you thank you thank you and subscribe have a wonderful August. It's summer. Enjoy your summer. I don't know how much of it I'm going to enjoy because I'll be working, working, working. But I just want to thank God for allowing me to be working during this um, C19 that we have going on. Enjoy your evening, everyone. Share my video, subscribe, and bye.